Now, the number one mistake that all rock guitarists make is playing out of time. Playing in time is the most important aspect of music. You need to go back to practicing, you need to go back to the drawing board when it comes down to your rhythm if you want to get some really good rock guitar sounds. Now, there's nothing wrong in playing with a swing, playing a little bit ahead of the beat or behind the beat but you need to be able to have a sense of the pulse of the track. You need to have an idea of where your playing is when it comes down to the pulse of the music. This is what separates the amateurs from the professional. When you can hear a music track being played by somebody and you can tell that the playing is not locked in with the tempo, it just makes that uncomfortable feeling of unease. It just it feels that there's something not right because the playing is not locked in with a tempo, with a drummer. Now, this becomes really uh, crucial when we're playing with softwares, when we're playing with click tracks, when we're playing with uh, drum machines, if you will. When we're playing with a band, usually the drummer and the bass player and you as a guitarist can can probably afford to go a little bit faster all together at the same time and speed up and slow down especially if you've been playing together for for a certain amount of time you kind of understand each other's weaknesses and and tendencies to to play a little bit ahead or be or behind the beat if you will when we're playing with softwares and computers really uh, we can't really do that we're playing with a drum loop or we're playing in this case with a drummer from logic uh, all of the compositions that i show you here and all of the tracks that uh, that i play the guitar to is very rigid it could have a little bit of a swing if you will those drum loops uh, but still it's very mechanical and that's a good thing because we want the beat to be solid we want to play to a click we want to play to a click track and we want to understand that rhythm and timing is crucial for, for our track to be you know, separated from the rest. And meaning that it has to be really locked in. Everything needs to be locked in. Okay, So even if you play a little bit off the beat, you can still get back on it on the next bar or so or the next note. Then that next second, I've shown you here a various example different guitar tracks and when you hear in isolation the guitar part you can tell that it's a little bit off there's nothing wrong with that the understanding of tempo and and timing is so ingrained in, into what i do that i can still afford to play a little bit off the beat at least in one track or one overdub and and see how that feels in the bigger picture now we don't want to be mechanical or robotic but if you were playing heavy metal music you really need to be very precise. And if it's gonna be uh, with a certain speed and really fast, then you're into big trouble. That means that you really need to be able to, to not only play in time, but play at a higher speed or really fast uh, execution of notes and riffs and guitar playing. That's why heavy metal music is compared to, to classical music, because it needs to be so precise when it comes down to the timing. Now, if we're playing a track uh, or we're recording a music track, let's say in the style of, I don't know, a grunge style like Nirvana or this type of bands, then we can afford to be a little bit more loose and actually it's required for you to be loose. If you want to sound like Kurt Cobain, you want to be a little bit loose and actually quite, quite a lot uh, because that's the sound that is required in order for you to, to sound like that but still it's, it's in very much in time it could be a little bit exaggerated for just to enhance the attitude of that musical style but you still need to understand timing and you still need to understand that when you're going to be playing those songs you need to know that one thing is to play out of time because you can't really make it or because you want to do it because of an attitude there's a difference now if you want to play different styles of music and let's say that you want to play uh, something like rock music, like the way I've, I've shown you in this course, it's crucial for you to get the rhythm uh, locked in. It's crucial for you to really know where you stand when it comes to the pulse of the beat. Now, I highly recommend if you're having trouble with this, again, go back to practicing. Uh, if, you're, if you have a riff idea, really, before you do anything, before you press record on your DAW, really play to the click track and 
maybe record one take and, and really analyze if that's in timing. Uh, multiple times across this course, I actually share with you in, in isolation the main guitar riff or the guitar chords uh, against the click and against the drummer. Make sure that you have it nailed down so it can be in time. One way to double check that is with the click and you just play your composition or whatever you have recorded. <laughs> Another thing that you can check as well is with your drummer. Obviously the drum is quite solid, so uh, play it against the drum and make sure that it's in time. That sounds pretty solid to me. And really making sure that that's there, making sure that it's played in time it's the most difficult part. You can learn chords, you can learn a scales, you can even learn how to play fast. But if you can't play to a click track, you're in big, big trouble. And this is a practice on its own. It's by far the hardest thing for us as guitarists. We struggle a lot when it comes down to playing in time, and that's why you need to dedicate some time for that, ironically. You need to set up and, and have a, a practice time for timing and play with the rhythm. Play with a drummer, play uh, to a click track, sit down and, and get a click. There's multiple ways that you can do this. I hope this lesson is helpful to you as always. Rock and roll and here's to your success.